Hi guys. So today is my grandfather's funeral and a few family and friends asked me to video because they couldn't make it. So I'll be showing little clippings here and there. Hi, if you're new, my name is Kelsey and this is my channel, Kelsey Kelsey. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and for all my returning subscribers, hey guys, welcome, welcome back to another video. Sweet! <laughs>
Sponsor your brothers and son final Thank you. 
Amen? Amen. So I'm going to say his ways are best. And what he does is done in all wisdom. So let us give thanks for the life of Brother Roy. Amen? Amen. Amen. I just want to express condolences to Sister Blossom and the entire family. Children, grandchildren, whatever the relationship was like. The extended family. In the name of Jesus, you are in our prayers and we know that. The Lord will give you the strength that you need to go through this difficult season. Amen? Yes. Amen. And if you feel like shedding a tear, it's okay to shed a tear. Amen? Yes, and the rest of us who are not so tearful will sing and shout and just give the Lord praise. Amen. God is good. God is good. I will be asking Elder Putin to come. And he is going to start us off in our program. Our moderator is a little bit delayed and he will take the, the floor until she gets here. God bless you. God bless you. Put your hands together, give the Lord a praise. Thank you very much, Pastor Chris. If you lift your hands up, we will praise God. Lift those hands and praise God. When I saw it all up today, it's only one person in this place that cannot worship. And that's wrong. So we're going to ask that we worship. God to the fullness and we ask for your attention. We ask for your cooperation as we go through this difficult time. We are gathered here to put away the mortal remains of our brother and so we are going to start our service as we look to your program, the opening hymn.
Harry Sr. or Junior. Oh, on time. Is Brother Roy promises is going to help you and he'll be there at 8 a.m. Be ready. He will be there at 8 a.m. unless some disappointment occur. Why? Youthful. Not considered young in age, but young in heart. Willing. Always lending a helping hand, whether the task at hand is great or small. A. Admirable. Was highly respected by all. L. Loyal and a lover of children. Never goes back on any of his promises. And I wonder if a child was ever wrong for him. Although that he was a strong disciplinarian. T. Talented. This would be seen in the different tasks he did to provide for his family. These ranges from farming locally, painting, landscaping, barbering, and traveling abroad on the farm work program. E. Easy going. Never in a hurry or harsh. Always doing and going at an easy pace. I can tell you, he was my baby son's father. And if it takes half of the day, he is going to exercise patience until the task is completed. No matter the twist and turn of the head, and I dare not say keep still. Ah, reliable. One who always rely on his promises. S, sincere. Sincere and kind, always a man to his word. He never tried to give you a six for a nine. Families and friends, take heart. Don't be burdened down with times of sorrow. His life has been full. He savored much. Good friends, good times, loved ones have been touched. His soul is resting in peace. Let us always remember him for his love, dedication, moral guidance, and support. His life is gone out, but his legacy shines on. Rest in peace, brother. Jesus loves you best.
Graciela Blanquet, granddaughter, followed by selection by the choir. Thank you forever. 
can still lift our hands and give the Lord a praise. Amen. We don't always understand what He does and how He does it. Amen. The one thing we know for sure is that what He does is well done. Can we still give Him praise? Can we still give Him praise? God is a wonderful God. Matter of fact, the prophet spoke of him as wonderful counselor, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. Can we still praise him? I honor him today and give him reverence all of my innermost being because I've come to recognize that without him, and I'm Amen. Amen. And whatever I do, I do it all because of His grace. All because of His mercy. I'm standing right here today. And I believe all of us can say that. Had it not been for the Lord. Amen. Many of us would have been passed off and gone. But we are here. One more day. So we can lift our eyes to the hills. Mm. Somebody said earlier, I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence coming all my help. Thank you, Jesus. We live in a time of anxiety. A life when there is so much fear, so much concern among us and around us. And the things that are happening sometimes we truly can understand. But can I just remind us that God is a good God? Yeah. God is good all the time. All the time. And I just, uh, for the sake of those who may be late, just recognize everyone present in this Thanksgiving service today. Amen? Amen. Whether you are seated on the platform or in the audience, it's good to have you. Amen? Amen. We are here because we have a common cause. We learn to weep together. We learn to laugh together. Have fun and play together. Amen? Amen. Amen. But this gives us an opportunity to pause and reflect on the fact that God is above. Amen. Amen. The heaven and the earth give him glory. Recognize his almighty power. Amen. Amen. And so we are no different. The word said that everything that has breath. And if you are breathing at all today, you have a right to praise him. Opportunity to praise him, and sometimes we come into the house, and then the, the devil would want to deprive us of the blessing that is in store for us, and he would prompt us and, and even not to open our mouths at all. Or can I tell you, you have a right to open your mouth and praise God, you have a right to lift your voice and praise God. Chapter 14. 
Because the word tells us that earlier in that chapter, Jesus fed 5,000. Yes? And after that task was done, using five loaves and two fishes, it was by his instruction that the disciples went by ship to go to the other side. Amen. And the scripture tells us that he stayed with the people to see that they were sent away orderly, decently, after which he prayed. Amen. And while he was there, all by himself, for the disciples had all gone, amen, he prayed, gave himself to prayer. And after he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. I'm at verse 23. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. I believe every one of us can associate with this somehow. As I believe you have experienced moments in your life when everything seemed to be going okay. Yes? But all of a sudden it would seem there is a change, there is a shift, and it's like a hell break loose. Amen. Everything seemed to be going wrong. So it was with the disciples. They were in the ship going along quite steadily, quite bravely. But in the midst of that, there was a contrary wind. The ship was now being tossed among the waves. And everything seemed to be chaotic and confusing. Yes, not understanding exactly what is happening. So it is sometimes when somebody is diagnosed with a terminal illness and things change. Amen. Somebody lost a child or a loved one and things change. There may be disturbances in relationships and things change. Your financial situation may come under such a pressure that you don't know where the next dollar will come from. Things change. My God. Things have a way to change. And in times like these, we can almost say or always say, we're going through a storm. Have you ever been there? Have you ever been there? You don't know which way to turn. You don't know exactly what to do. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. But we learn in moments like these to lift our eyes up.
Jesus appeared walking on the water. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord. Sometimes when you think things can get worse, something else just happened.
go through your situation. Lord, 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 Lord. And so I'm reminding us today that as he said to Nicodemus, he said to every single one here today, you must be born of the water. You must be born of the spirit. You must be born of the blood.
you feel special. Don't you? Yes. That is how we all should try to be. May his soul rest in peace. A man like perpetual shine on him. God bless him.
for 27 years. And while he was still in Jamaica, he was still doing all those trades. Even his farming. And the wind of God blows to the air. Roy could smell it from afar. And being in his prime as a young man, he couldn't tell what followed it until he ended up in a path of a beauty which became his heart's desire. He approached her romantically and began pleading with her to give him a chance until he finally she gives him. This beauty's name is pleading because as they began the long journey of love together, the union at one point in the journey produced one child, a beautiful princess, who they named Miriam. As his life progressed, a stronger magnetic wind of love blew, Roy's way, which he could not resist, and it pulled him all the way into the sweet and loving arms of Paul S. Simmons in 1978. As the saying goes, nothing beats your love. This one tame Mass Roy for life. And as a result of this union, he produced five, four, five children, four princesses, Simone, Carrie, Kayla, who is deceased, Denisa, and one prince, Richard, as well as a happy marriage, which began on the 24th of March, 1990. During this union, he was more than a father to two stepdaughters. This kid was a jovial person, but was also very miserable at times. He loved to reason and have conversations with other persons or groups of persons. Whenever he wants to prove his point across or lay down his point, he uses phrases such as I was before you. You know right. And when he found out that he cannot win the conversation, he would go on to say, Suck a big tour, God of God. <laughs> no one ever thought that this kid would make a big step of accepting the Lord, Jesus, however, at Christmas Sunday, December 20. Something tricked him, and out of the blue, he decided that he was going to be baptized, which he did at the Brompton Bible Way Apostolic Church. He never told anyone, none of his family, and he came home like nothing happened. <laughs> and he was there until his family here from other people. <laughs> and this they would have it, what to say? On July 2022, where he suffered a major stroke, which rendered him helpless, unable to speak and eat. But through the love and care of family and friends, he miraculously came back around and was able to help himself. Eat and speak properly. Everyone thought he had defined death, but this was not the case because he was showing signs that death was around the corner. Perfect example. One day he went to Nai who is Simone, his daughter, and told her he wanted to talk to her. And the conversation was that he just awaited and then he started to come from Paris. He went further to tell Nai that she was not healthy. She tell him what I say, he ran away from Melissa. Her response after she got the call was, I will not know that my daddy know, because I don't know what I'm talking about. Melissa, on the other hand, was wondering, why did I wait on her for? However, she came on December 15, 2022, and leave on January 8, 2023. Just to add to that, when I spoke to him 
all the Christmas holiday. He asked me when he was going to see me. And I turned to him and I said, You will see me in April May. Because by that time, Mango would be ready and I'll come for the mangoes. Look at that, I know that I would. He wasn't going to wait on me. Oh, I didn't know. That's why he was asking me. His reply to me was, Okay, ma'am. Not very long after this, he even unfolded. January 26 to be exact. Why to back down sick? I admitted in Blackwell Hospital for a day and was released on the 27th of January. After which his sickness, his sickness took a turn for the world. For which he never recovered. His attack showed the same things. Something had to turn for the worse, from which he never recovered. <laughs> it's a sad truth. Something has to carry him home one day. And so one passes away on the 29th of January, 2023. The interesting chapter of the book, May the Life I Live Speak, written by Roy Eastern Waters has been covered and the book has now been closed permanently. All that is left is just memories. I don't know what that purpose we cannot see. All is well that is done by me. Roy Eastern Waters died at 76 years old. He left home by children, Miriam, Simone, Camry, Vanessa, Richard, and two step daughters, and still a daughter, Anne Marie and Keisha. Three sisters, Gloria, Althea, and Dahlia. Three brothers, Leonard, Safer, and Eulis. Three son-in-laws, 14 great-grandchildren, eight great-great-grandchildren, nieces, nephews, and a host of relatives and friends. The Lord given and the Lord taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Sleep her, beloved. Sleep and take your rest. Lay down your head upon the Savior's breast. Bronco, Naya, Brother Roy, my Roy, Mass Roy, this sleep. We love you well. But Jesus loves you best. Good night, Roy, Eastern Waters. May your soul rest in peace and life perpetual.
Somebody take this with me, take this and put it up. Put them on the side. Yeah. Anyone who want to go on there, you know, let me know, alright? Father, in the name of Jesus, we honor you, we give you thanks for this afternoon. Lord, you have given us Roy for a while and it pleases you to take him. Now as we put away his mortal remains, we pray in the name of Jesus that those of us who are left behind will recognize that we too one day will be going in this direction. Take full control even now. Remember the family as they mourn the loss. And God, we ask that you comfort their hearts and help them to understand that if they live a life that pleases you, someday they too will see your face. And if Brother Roy, he will not be able to say or do anything about his life anymore. But God, it rests with you. And so we give you thanks for this afternoon and we pray that as we continue, you will make us a blessing, for we say that in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, we're going to ask you to put Yes, half it, half it, yes, almost half it. Yes, don't put it, don't put it in everything. For as much as it had pleased the Almighty God in His wise providence to take out of the world the soul of the departed, Brother Roy, we therefore commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Looking for the general resurrection in the last day and the life of the world to come through our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose second coming in glorious majesty to judge the world, the earth and the sea shall give up their dead and the corruptible bodies of those who sleep in him shall be changed and made like unto his own glorious body according to the mighty working whereby he is able to subdue all things unto himself well, thanks be to god as we come on one here we reach a shining river Gather with the saints at the river 